President Donald Trump began his week speculating that Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg's family was lying when they said that her dying wish was not to have her seat filled until the next president is elected. I don't know that she said that, or was that written out by Adam Schiff and Schumer and Pelosi, Trump told Fox and Friends hosts. I would be more inclined to the second, but that sounds like a Schumer deal or maybe a Pelosi or Shifty Schiff. Advertisement Trump on RBG's reported dying wish that next pre fills her seat, I don't know that she said that, or was that written out by Adam Schiff and Schumer and Pelosi, I would be more inclined to the second, but that sounds like a Schumer deal or maybe a Pelosi or Shifty Schiff. Pick.twitter.com slash Z979 KK2Q3, The Recount, at their count, September 21, 2020 NPRs, Nina Totenberg, who visited with the late justice before she died, revealed that it was said and that it wasn't just her granddaughter Clara in the room who heard it. She told her granddaughter Clara that, and there were others in the room who were witness to it, among them her doctor book as I checked. Because I'm a reporter, said Totenberg, and she told her granddaughter, My most fervent wish is that I not be replaced until after a new president is installed. That my replacement not be named until after a new president is installed. So, she was hoping to avoid the maelstrom, the hand-to-hand -hand combat, the political combat we're about to see and dragging the court into it. These kinds of power plays have consequences, and sometimes they're unforeseen, and she was an institutionalist. She believed in the Supreme Court. She urged people not to try to expand the number of justices. She believed in it as an institution. Trump intends to not only ignore her wishes, he will name his nominee before the justice is buried. Advertisements see the full conversation with Totenberg below, enjoy good journalism. Then let us make a small request. The COVID crisis has cut advertising rates in half, and we need your help. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism. Raw Story readers power David K. Johnston's DC report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and legal efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. And unlike other news outlets, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. Unbinged from corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support in this difficult time. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Click to donate by check. Value Raw Story? Then let us make a small request. The COVID crisis has cut advertising rates in half, and we need your help, like you. We believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David K. Johnston's DC report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media buyers here. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Report typos and corrections to email protected. Let's block ads. Show your love for him. Click the link in description. Thanks for watching.